Warning, this video contains graphic images that may not be suitable for little sissy bitches. So, if your discretion is advised, we kill shit here. What's up guys a uh, beautiful day out it's like in the 60s but it's sprinkling and i see one just fell down right in front of the lens so we're gonna have to deal with some it might be uh the lens might get messed up but so far nothing in front of the uh trail cameras but i noticed the trap is missing from here this is that crazy slide they've come up there and they've cut them trees down they're all laying right there well, we'll uh, see if we got anything. Remember, we changed it around a bunch. I can't see anything out in the water, but we changed it several times because they kept moving out in different spots. It's uh, getting down to the smart ones. We've got number 12 out of here so far. We'll get the old camera set up right here so you can see what was going on. There's some fresh tracks there. We definitely gonna have to move our bed down. We got the problem is we got a chance of we got a chance of uh, three inches of rain, so that's not good. We just started getting everything back to normal. We're down to the wire here in Missouri, coming to an end. something another flat tail nice got him on a back foot I don't know where to put the I just do not know where to put a trail camera the as soon as I put the trail camera they won't go to it no more I just don't know I tried I move it here, I won't catch another thing here, I know it. They're not gonna fall for it. And he is stuck in there. Complete locked up. There we go. He wasn't going anywhere. Well, that's number 13. Good old beaver right there. We're putting her back. We're gonna go until the season's over. Here. And I'm gonna try to come back in the next season if they'll let me back and catch raccoons. There's a lot of raccoons here. So I'm just going to put it dead center. I can see that he climbed here and here. So I'm going to try to put it right out here a little deeper. Like right here. Good work. Sweet. And we got two more upstream. I added one. 
We'll go check those guys and see if we got anything up there. Number 13 in the old big damn creek. And I can't get back to my camera. Man down. <laughs> All right. Stay tuned, guys. Yeah, I just caught my thumb. Got a nice uh, indention. A little, I could see it. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so stupid. I saw it coming too. I seen it coming, 100 mile away. Oh, oh. It was like, please let go of my thumb. Please, mister. Welcome back, guys. We're in Iowa. I put a trap on a trail where they're sliding in and out over there, but I see the trap's out of the water now. Water level has dropped. It's gonna go back up. It's raining. The water level just dropped again, and my trap ain't there. I see coon tracks, so let's see. I'm not all that confident. <laughs> Dang raccoons. Got something heavy. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. We definitely did not get a raccoon. We got us a mud covered beaver. And that has a nice tail on it. Very nice tail. The silt. The silt is something else, I'll tell you. Some tough trapping, but we'll take that guy for sure. Or gal. Get out of there. Look at the tail on that one. It's just a big old chunk tail. That's a nice beaver. Cast him down, let it down. I got to lower my trap bed, even though I don't want to. I have to. I don't want to leave my trap out of the water, no matter if I know it's going to rain or not. So, get this back out there. That's too easy. I didn't like that at all. Let's go like that. Oh, that feels a lot better. We'll go high with the rowing rod. We know it's going to... Yeah, look at all that silt. Just... That's all it is. Filled it in right after the trap was gone. Just filled my bed up. We're just gonna go under the water because we know it's gonna rise. Coming down pretty hard now. just under the water because we know it's going to raise up so cover up my drowner. <clears throat> that is a pretty good sized beaver. <sighs> Look at that. That is a big freaking beaver. 
I'm gonna go over here and show you this. I gotta lower it a little bit too. It's really muddy. Bottom right here. Well, I really thought I would have got one right here. So many tracks going up this. And more than likely, yeah, we missed one. We definitely missed one. It scares them away when they see the trap. That's not the goal, not to be out of the water like that. It's just for not lowering too fast. Get it back in there. Get it hidden. That's their slide. I just made it a little better so that it'll help me when you get the drilling rod back down under the, water, under the mud some. Like it sticking out like that. Put some stuff on it. Kind of camouflage it a little bit. That pan is just under the water. It's not ideal, but with the, it's definitely going to rise. Hopefully, we can get them tonight before it goes up too high. All right. Grab our beaver and move on to the next set. Well, got a feeling I got a raccoon on this one. The bank is tore up. I can see coon tracks from here. Hard to keep them out. Well, there's some beaver tracks there. I do see beaver tracks also. Big old coon tracks. But we do have big old Mac Daddy beaver tracks here, so. Clean out my bed, as you can see. The water is fucked it all up too. <laughs> I uh, I had this caster here, and the water is dropping that fast. You can see my washer. That's where the water level was. Not no more. So, so we still got some that might have climbed out of here. I got my drowner right down in that deep hole. There's a shelf here and it drops off right there. Oh, I feel something good. It's covered in mud. Old silk monster. It is a flat tail. It's not a, it's not a Mac Daddy. It was just covered in mud. It's been chewed on. This one's on a no BS. Got a nice bite in his tail there. They are some fighters. Especially this time of year. I'm gonna drop it back down in that hole I've had.
putting a little bit of a bow just to get me over that drop off in my uh, rebar. back where we had it, just underneath the, just under the water again, because we know we're rising again. Little feller, but we'll take him. Definitely take him. That's number three for the day. That's pretty happy with that. All right, guys, this is a, this is a spot where I've been really struggling with, to catch a beaver. Uh, earlier in the season, I caught a whole bunch of them right over there. Caught a bunch over here down there on the on the dam. Uh, this is that tube that I found that snake at. And I've been playing around with this guy. There's a beat. Well, I don't know if he's on there or not yet. I just see my traps gone. I'm hoping. But this beaver, <laughs> this freaking beaver. So he comes in here, he climbs up. Ever since I put this caster mount, he climbs in here and he's putting a caster mount right there. I showed it in the last video when I redid this. My caster was actually in, mound was in the water the last time I was here. That's how much it's changed. But. Our trap's gone. There are, you're gonna hear me say it a lot, there are coon tracks around. Hopefully we ain't got a raccoon, but there's a good chance we might have a son of a bitch this time. He has been, he even put his caster on my trap once. <laughs> he was just sitting there with a caster, my little pile of shit on it. So we'll go right there, looks pretty good. Right there. Alright. Hopefully it ain't a raccoon after all this talk I did. There's definitely some coon traps and there's definitely some beaver traps. It might not be the one that's putting the caster up there, but his caster is dry. So there's a good chance. And I don't pre see if there's anything on these traps before I roll you guys. I just figured there's nothing then I just move on to the next one. There ain't no point in checking them twice. I just see my traps gone but like yep might be something here. Okay I made my bed better and I was taking that beaver's caster and putting it on my pile. Come on be that beaver. Feels heavy. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> we got it. We got that smart. It's got to be it's that smart one. It's got to be. Look at that one. Front foot. That's got to be. That's got to be the smart one that I've been playing with here. Big old tail. Yeah, it is a male. Jeez. We got him, I think. The next thing I'm gonna do is I know they're traveling through this culvert. I wanna get a snare where they're coming through that culvert. Man. <laughs> when I looked down here from the ranger and seen that travel isn't there, I I got all warm and, and cozy on the inside. <laughs> Oh man, just been playing games with this beaver for a while. Finally, he just couldn't resist it. It's got, I'm, it's got to be. I feel like that's the the one causing me the the games. 
But we'll find out because we're going to keep on setting. Well, that feels good. I'm not reluring anything. Three days of rain and it's not really going to matter. I just want to get everything so we possibly can get a catch during this rainstorm. So. Awesome. Guys, we're well over, well over 50 beavers in this little stretch here this season, so. Gotta be petering out, right? It has to be. It has to peter out at some point. I mean, we're slowing down, obviously. So this tube, this tube actually takes you to the other side and then it takes you to where I catch the turtles and the conda bears. We're not very far, we're like 300 yards from that spot, but I drive from a different way. That is a nice beaver. Very proud, very proud of that catch right there because I know there's a smart beaver right here putting caster above my caster, so. We're playing games, and I think I finally got them. All right. Get me a thumbnail. Well, I got what I don't want to get. And, honestly, I've never let one go. You bite me, that's gonna be it. Oh, she wrote. Well, I don't want you biting me. Stop. I'm gonna lay this on you, and you're not gonna bite me. Deal? <laughs> it's so muddy, too. This is stupid. She's just shoot you in the face. I'm gonna be done with you. Stay there. You stay there. You stay outside of this. Okay? You got a deal? I suppose I suggest you go through. Don't come at me, bro. I suggest you go free. This is just the first time I've ever let one go. <laughs> So this is where I had that trail. He's not in the trap anymore. This is where I had that trail that the coyote kept coming down and stealing my muskrats. We never did catch that coyote that I, for sure, we did catch a few here on the top. Come on, go on, You're free buddy. Go on, yeah. There you go, there you go, get on out of here. Well, 100% wasn't our intended target. We released him. He'll be fine. He'll go. I could hear him. I could hear him. He's standing up there. He, uh, he's actually standing right up there watching. He just shook off the water off him. All right. So, well. Hi guys, we're back. A little bit breezy right here. We're we're just uh, upstream from where we caught that coyote. I can't tell. I got a whole bunch of tracks over here where this caster mound is. Can't really tell if the trap's there. Definitely had some stuff going in and out. Kind of making a slide. So this one was way, I had a hard time finding this caster mound uh, two days ago because of the high water. And we got something right here. It looks like I see a beaver's foot. Right there, I think we got a beaver. So I moved, this caster was completely underwater when I came and reset it. I think this might be the Wowsner trap, the one I wrote Wowsner on. Look at, I put that caster clear up there. 
And look at those tracks going up to that. There's definitely probably been another beaver since I caught this one. I've seen a beaver on land here a couple times. So I've yet to catch one in this trap. But I know they're here. We actually had some climbing down right here too. So there's probably another one coming along. It looks like a beaver's foot under there. This water's so dirty. As long as it ain't a kayak. <laughs> oh, that's a big old foot on there. I see it now. <clears throat> big old foot. That's another nice beaver there. Big old back foot catch. That would be them climbing. Missing the front. And he's climbing up. Big old trap's hard to open up. Pretty good sized beaver though. We'll take that one for sure. So I'm right here behind me. I'm not gonna do too much to this set. I can see my caster still here. We just gotta make the new trap bed, it looks like. The water level has changed. So that rebar is bent like crazy. <laughs> Look at that. It's uh, a little bent. Get in there. <clears throat> Basically, they're 100% using this cl climb out. Probably more than just him. I just need to build up this area enough to get my trap back under the water. Well, take out some, I should say. I should have my shovel with me, but I don't. This is the Wilsner trap. <laughs> there you go, you got you got a catch. You got a beaver in your trap. Okay, there we go. I think I know they're climbing up here too. I want to fluff that up a little bit. I'm gonna divert them. First five, Beaver. Really nice one. I'm gonna get out of here again. These banks are getting hard to climb out. They're so slick. Well, guys, we uh, we didn't cut a coyote. I released my first coyote. Uh, I checked these one farm and ran into the homeowner, the, well, the farmer, and had a pretty good long chat. It's always nice to just sit and chat with the, with the, with the person you're trying to kill the beavers for. Gonna hook them up with some mushrooms as soon as mushroom season starts, but we picked up five. Pretty good run. I'm happy with it. Got that smart beaver. That's a pretty big beaver, really. But, all right, notice that this one here is a lot more blonde. This one's got a lot more red to it. I'll let these guys dry a little bit while 
if I get caught up with yesterday's beaver and then get them all taken care of and keep keep getting you guys content what I'm trying to show is anybody can do this I only have a certain amount of traps out I don't have a major line uh, I'm checking after work you don't have to have this fancy ranger but man it's nice so pretty good run all right guys appreciate you guys being here i got some work to do and uh make sure you guys subscribe if you're not subscribed it helped me out a lot i appreciate it